You have just entered Flavortown. And this is a knuckle sandwich. A what? Well, it's a cigar, and it's a collaboration between Eric Espinosa and the one and only Guy Fieri. And, spoiler alert, it's pretty delicious. Welcome to the Cigar Bar. Celebrity collabs when it comes to anything you put in your mouth aren't always the best. But this collab is more than just a celebrity putting his name on something. It's truly a collaboration between a great cigar blender and a very, very good chef. Say what you will about glasses on the back of the head, Guy Fieri is a fantastic chef and a very, very nice guy. After a number of blends were sampled, Fieri and Espinosa settled on a core line of knuckle sandwich cigars a Connecticut, a Maduro, and this, the Habano. They also created an exclusive limited edition cigar line called the Prefix, one called Chef Special, and the 55 in honor of Guy's 55th birthday, all of which I look forward to trying. The Knuckle Sandwich brand of cigars is named after Guy's first business name. There's a great video with Fieri and Cigars Daily that I'll link below detailing the origin of the name. The Knuckle Sandwich Habano comes in four Vitolas, Corona Gorda, Robusto, Gordo, and this, the Toro. It's made with Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and a Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's got fantastic packaging, a cool name, and a good look. Let's give it a try. Well, we're a little way into the first third of the cigar so far, and now it's it's really nice. It's got a lot of. I think the number one word I'd use right now is it's creamy. It's very creamy. It's very lush. It's very full across the palate. It's not it's not harsh or big, but it's just very. Uh, the mouthfeel is really warm and rich. Uh, it's got some interesting tropical notes. Uh, there was some notes of key lime going on a little bit of it was kind of like raspberry candy which is super cool uh, and that was called kind of in the mouthfeel and also in sort of the the exhale and uh i don't necessarily retrohale on purpose but when it gets up in there it's very creamy and fruity and smooth um so far so good ash is not that bright white like of last week's Liga Pravada is just that like super white ash. This is a little bit more of a steely gray, um, but the draw is fantastic. The burn is really nice. It's not as even as I'd like, but that's usually my fault. It's always my fault. Uh, but the cigar itself is fantastic. Already at a at a twelve dollar price point, uh, the knuckle sandwich is it's impressing me. So. Move on to the uh, halfway point here and be right back with you. So we're near the band and uh, through the next third of the cigar, there's really not a tremendous amount of evolution. It's, it's fairly one note uh, all the way down since the beginning. Still a lot of that creaminess a little bit of nutmeg, some of the butterscotch flavors in there, but the creamy, creaminess is just kind of the thing. It's very smooth. It tastes great. Uh, it there's you know no complaints at all, uh, but certainly not a lot of change from start to uh, past halfway down. So, uh, but it's still quite delightful, quite delicious. It's a good one very middle of the road in terms of flavor and flavor evolution and palate change. I would say this is a really great cigar to, to take with you to, uh, you know, family functions or get togethers or, uh, something like even a bachelor party, or actually this is probably a better wedding cigar because you're going to get a lot of people who want to smoke, who don't know a lot about cigars. So this is a, a good one because it's very uh, mild, it's very chill. 
unoffensive. Anyone's gonna like it, whether you're a connoisseur, an expert, or uh, an absolute beginner. This was, the Toro was around 12 bucks, give or take. So, solid cigar for those uh, events where you don't wanna break out the, the rare china. It's perfect for that. We're at the final third, uh, about halfway down. Uh, and yeah, pretty much the same thing. Not a whole lot of evolution or change. It's not a bad thing. I think it's a great thing that's very consistent. Um, but you're starting to pick up some notes of, of white pepper, a little bit of graham cracker. I think that cedar cherry wood thing is starting to come out a little bit more as it heats up as we travel down the cigar. Um, but yeah, fantastic cigar. Uh, great for the price. Uh, definitely recommend it. Definitely want to try. I haven't tried the Maduro or the Connecticut yet, uh, but I want to get to that. But I definitely want to get in and try some of the more higher end selections, some of the more exclusive stuff. I think that that'll be a real test of, of where the brand is at. But for a uh, $13 Toro, fantastic cigar. So definitely recommend it. Uh, if you see them around, pick one up, give it a try. Let me know what you think. So in the meantime, thank you for visiting the Scar Bar. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.